Hey everybody, this is Chris from Elephant Engraving Co. Today we're going to look at uh, some more of the rotary. I've been working on a few project files here, one for a client. Basically we have a 20 ounce JDS cup. A lot of people have these, a lot of people use them. They're great because they, they're the same all around. They don't have the, the logo like some of the uh, other manufacturers that you have to index to if you're going to center your, your engraving here. So um, today we're going to look at engraving this logo on both sides. So the client wants their logo. Uh, this is their logo. Let me hide this layer real quick. And if you didn't know you could do that, you can touch a layer here and you can click the eye shut and then the eye open to unhide it. So I had that logo. So they want their logo displayed centered on the cup probably upper two-thirds, uh, roughly centered horizontally, of course, roughly two-thirds up vertically. So I have a few pieces of information that I know. I know based on where my rotary sits that for this 20-ounce cup, 13 millimeters is the center point of the rotary. So I always align it there. Um, the image is already hatched, and I have the standard hatch stuff here. Um, I always use 0 0.02 for line spacing, 0 0.05 for loop distance. It gives me a good clean result every time, um, especially on the black tumblers, all the black tumblers. And I use the zigzag, I've seen people call it the zigzag hatch type. Um, I don't use all calc, I don't use follow edge once, and I generally don't cross hatch the, um, the black tumblers. They simply don't need it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna hide the logo and show you what they want on the other side. On the other side, they want 2020 Survivor. I, I think that we all kind of feel the same way, uh, aligned vertically along the cup. So if I uh, show contour, do red, and I'll show you what the uh, cup says. So uh, I know it's not super easy to see, um, but it's gonna show vertically there. And if you didn't know, when you're actually doing your red, you can use the arrows on your machine to actually move that laser down. So you can actually get a good view of where it's at on the cup live. You don't have to press stop and then redo it. So that's where it's gonna be. There's nothing on it anywhere. So I'm gonna start here, and I know it's a little bit difficult to see, but where the chuck key sits at the top of the rotary, I leave that straight up. And there's a reason for that. On the other side, this chuck jaw is actually 180 degrees offset from this. So I use that as my index. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's gonna look like it's on opposite sides. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna use the easy one, 2020 Survivor. And just to be sure, I'm gonna press red. I'm gonna look at the cup and I'm gonna make sure that that lines up where I want it, and it does. After I've ensured it lines up, I'm simply gonna mark it. So now that we've done that, we're gonna click off of the 2020 Survivor and we're gonna select the client's logo here. Uh, hatching is exactly the same. I didn't change anything. Now, I do one pass on this. Again, uh, it looks the best with one pass. I have a lot of thin stuff here. This dog could probably do with two passes, but it, it looks perfectly fine. Um, so remember, make sure your mark select is selected. Otherwise, you'll have problems. And I'm going to go to laser, rotary mark. Make, it, make sure again here, mark is selected. And in our previous video, we talked about the split size. So I keep my split size as three millimeters. I'm actually running a 300 millimeter lens. So three millimeters is definitely within the, the focus window, as I call it, of your, your 300 millimeter lens. This part is about 85 millimeters in diameter. And the, the cup actually looks, uh, it, it actually tapers down, downwards here. So as it tapers downwards, it changes, but I, this is roughly 86 and a half millimeters and this is about 84 millimeters. 85 is close enough for what we're doing. Uh, focus length is 468 millimeters. Again, this is the distance between your lens and the material. So I make sure that I measure that. And I have a card here that tells me what all of my proper rotary parameters are, specifically as it relates to focal length and part diameter. So I'm good here. 
Uh, force all split. I leave this off generally. It doesn't matter since this is all one path here. Mark split by, by line. I'm simply not doing that. So let's press mark and see what it does. Great, and now the part is done and it actually looks pretty good. So if we look at the cup, the cup actually looks really good. Again, there's a few small lines there, but once those are exposed to air, and I actually wipe them off real quick, um, they go away. The 2020 Survivor on the other side looks pretty fantastic. So this tumbler is ready to ship out.